Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. This is Harry Muppet. Welcome back to another StarCraft 2 Daily Masters and we're going to be checking out an awesome Daily Masters here for the second time. It's actually the second time I cast this game. The first time I cast it, my forgot to tilt my microphone around because usually I just put it out of the way when I'm doing other stuff and I forgot to move it back so it captured my voice because it was all tinny and it was all on the wrong direction so I've actually cast this game before. But I decided it's such a good game. I decided just, you know what, I'm just going to cast it again, because it's still exciting enough, and given my incredibly bad memory, I'll probably forget most of what's happening anyway, but for some reason, the music is on, I've just enabled it again, and there's no music playing, which I'm very, very confused about, but whatever, we're going to be getting back into it, checking it out, and it is going to be MMA up the top right side of the map, here's of course from South Korea, playing for Team Acer. And down the bottom left side of the map, it is none other than Patience. He is the Protoss player from South Korea and playing for Alien Invasion. The fact there's no music is really weirding me out right now. I need music. There's like music coming out of the Protoss buildings. Like, I don't know if it's really music, but it sounds kind of musical. All the funny noises they make. So maybe we'll just sit here for a while. I don't know. I don't know if my music broken or something like that. I don't know. Anyway, there, there, there'll, there'll be music enough in this game, man. In the, the music of uh, cannons and lasers and all that sort of fun stuff. Because this really does get heated up quite fast. But the SCV coming in for the scout on Mr. Follow Mode. Going to be running in there, having a look. And, yeah, I, I hate cast again for the second time. Ah, but whatever, whatever. At least, at least we're on the game hard interface, which, uh, which totally makes the day worthwhile, man. I love this interface. Can't you tell how much I love this interface? It's just fantastic. Look at that, the cyber core just disappeared for no reason. That's fantastic. All right, so we're going to be checking it out. The orbital command coming down. We've got a supply depot coming down. We've got a fast reactor coming down. Did we, where is he, um, there he's already built the Reaper. So there's actually something I missed last year. He actually built the gas, mined it just enough for the Reaper, which um, is actually really, really weird because how much, the Reaper costs 50 gas. And how can you mine exactly enough for one Reaper? Or did he somehow build two Reapers and lost one of them? I'm not sure. Oh, he built the reactor. That's right, so he mined 100 gas, built the reactor, and then built the Reaper. So... Oh, they built the Reaper and then built the reactor. One or the other, alright? Give me a break. So here we go, the Reaper's coming in, gonna be having a crack at some Protoss stuff and immediately gets owned by the Mothership Core. Very, 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 very awesome stuff. So the Reaper's gonna get out of there, the Marine's gonna be chasing this probe away and expansion coming down for both players. Both gonna finish almost exactly the same time. We do also have a fast Twilight Council coming out from the Protoss all the way down there. And that is going to be pretty awesome. This Mothership Core was going for the rocks, but decided that there were better things it could be spending its time on. So, pretty good. The Protoss already getting a nice worker advantage here. And this music is really, really annoying. Where's the damn music? Um, Alright, we've we got to go into options and check this out, because it's just too... Alright, so we got music. 40% volume. Turn it off. Turn it on. Okay. There's no music. I don't know why there's no music playing. There's probably a problem with the game or something. Look at this probe, man. You know that guy is going for a proxy pylon. Well, I know that guy is going for a proxy pylon, but you guys can guess that's going for a proxy pylon. So, there we go. Bunch of Marines out the front, having a good fun. They're like, where the hell's our bunker, man? We're waiting for the bunker. Oh, the Reaper going to go in, and it actually, I'm pretty sure, let me double check, but yes, it does scout the Twilight Council. So, yes, definitely. Uh, MMA is going to have to do something with that Twilight Council, and he is getting a Marauder out straight away, just in case it's going to be pumping out Blink, which it actually is pumping out Blink, so very, very, very awesome. And, yeah, we still not have seen a factory, there we go, just as I say that, a factory comes down, but pretty late for a Terran player. And there we go, there's a scan coming down, just to double check, just in case this was like a hallucinated building or something. That would be insane. Hallucinated buildings, man. You just hallucinate a dark shrine or something like that when your Terran comes in and scouts you. That would be so awesome. They need to implement that, man. It should, like, cost double energy that a hallucinated unit would, but hallucinated buildings, so awesome. Uh, 
Here we go, but MMA is getting out a nice bit of force. We got proxy pylon coming up all the, I thought that was a proxy pylon, but it's moving, so obviously it can't be. But here we go. Look at the amount of gateways coming up. Just a ton of gateways. We got three more coming out on top of the one, two, three that are already up. So we've gone from one gateway up to six gateways very, very fast. And Patience obviously wants to uh, finish it off nice and early. MMA, I mean, he's good. He's got a bunch of Marauders out there. He's going to be, uh, he's going to be able to do a pretty good job. But I don't know, man. This base has a lot of cliffs. Look at all these cliffs up here. And with Stalker Blink on the way, that could be a nightmare for the Terran player. I mean, this, this, this map is not the best if you're going up against uh, Blink Stalkers and stuff like that. And obviously, uh, Patience realizes that. So he's like, you know what? I am going to abuse the hell out of that. And, man, going up here... Well, actually, it looks like he may go in there without uh, without MMA actually seeing anything at all. MMA does not realize. He's starting to realize right now. He's moving back, but the reactor goes down. I didn't realize, but when you kill the reactor instantly, one of these gets canceled. So that's insane. Going for the um, tech lab as well, but so many guys repairing it. And the Triple M finally gets there. Doesn't quite... Oh, that's so close. That's so close, man. That Mothership Core, that's almost a must-kill at the moment. He needs to get, like, a Viking out and take that thing out because that is giving all of this high ground information to patients. And without the Mothership Core, he's basically useless down here. He is basically can't do anything unless he gets on the high ground. So, yeah. Wow. The Mothership Core needs to go down. Where are the Vikings, dude? Build a Viking and take care of that. Here we go. Going in. Oh, the Force Field's coming down. Another Force Field coming down. MMA is squeezed in here, and he's at a terrible position right now. If he uh, tries to keep the attack going, his forces are going to get killed one by one by this beautiful concave that Patience has. However, if he backs up and regroups, he's going to lose this base, he's going to lose all those workers, and then he will just be too far behind in the game. He's going to lose all the workers anyway, unfortunately. These guys trying to finish off, but there's just too many forces out here. Reinforcements constantly streaming in from the Protoss player. All of his forces do go down, and there we go. That's the GG for MMA, and he just couldn't get it working, man. The Stalkers blinking up this massive cliff right here. This is a massive cliff. It's just so wide, so long, and it's so hard to defend against Blink Stalkers. And, I mean, he was trying to head it off here, but he didn't realize there was pylons already over there. There were Stalkers already over there, and they just blinked right into the back of his base, and... Oh, if you're on this map and you're playing Protoss, man, Blink Stalkers are overpowered on this map. It's so insane. You just scoot around the backside, just blink in here, boom, you're right in the middle of the main base. It's insane. Really, really insane. And it's so long. Look at this distance. Whoa. So long it's going to take the Terran player to actually get back and defend his base. So, I don't know. They should probably fix that because that's that's quite overpowered for the Protoss, this map. But anyway, apparently there's a Nexus being built here, I think. Yeah, I don't know why he was doing that. But anyway, we finished this game again, but this time with the microphone in the correct location, which I'm very happy with. So there we go. Thank you very much for watching this game. Uh, stay tuned tomorrow for another one. This uh, has been Harry Muppet. I hope you enjoyed this game.